I can hear all the snorts. They might try something. You can see the other safari vehicles. Look at that Impala standing on its back legs to try to see. Uh, you don't see Impala do that very often. How cool was that? Impala standing on its back legs to try to see those cheetah as they get, went into long grass. Now we can't see the cheetah, that's why we're on the Impala. They will be coming out into the open shortly. There we go. You see that, that kick? That's a very, very distinct movement from Impala when they are looking at predators. Now, we'll wait a little bit. The cheetah should come out of the long grass shortly. I'm sorry. Yeah. Andrew, I'm, I'm here and I can see Harley approaching as well. So there they come. cool is this? Look at that. They're coming straight towards us. They are exquisite animals. They are hungry as well. So hopefully they find some more impalas once they cross uh, into cheetah plains. It's to the left a little bit. Oh. oh, he's jumped off already. There's one just climbed up a little branch quickly, but here they come. Now there's quite a lot of lot of pressure here, so we'll stay with them as long as we, we can because we're the first people here. But then we will cycle through giving other people also a chance to see them. But for now we, we, we are here. Look at this. What a wonderful morning so far. Lynn is wondering how old are these two boys? Uh, Lynn, they, it's difficult to say that they are adults and um, we haven't seen them since they were cubs but I'm guessing just looking at their, their general appearance they're about six, six, between six and nine years old um, but in their prime these two boys they're about to cross into cheetah plains here we go now, as I said, they're quite hungry. You can see that belly is quite concave. There we go. They've crossed into Cheetah Plains. Cheetah Plains living up to its name this morning. Let me just turn around. Whoa, there's a big log in the bush there. We don't want to hit that. Um, so there we go. We're just going to move parallel to them. There they are. Hey, boys. I haven't seen you in so long. As you can see, quite hungry, empty. That one.
Now Josh is wondering about that Impala's kick run where they kick out their back legs, uh, back legs and is wondering is that to chase or send off predators? Well, it, it, there's a couple of different theories. It's, it's to display their agility to try to put off a predator from chasing them. Uh, another reason is they've got those metatarsal glands on the back of their legs that is, is secrete a, um, a pheromone or a scent when they do that. Now there's a couple of different different uh, theories about why that happens. Uh, the, the one is that it's to confuse predators. I don't believe it at all. I think it releases a pheromone to the herd and uh, different individuals can find them, find each other afterwards. So I think that's the more plausible theory, but uh, no one is 100% sure. Okay, so we've got to give other people a chance. Um, to get in here so I will stay for as long as I can but I just um, they are moving quite quickly so they could be out of out of cheetah plans very quickly and we have had a really cool sighting so far and um, I'm just gonna get to see who's first standing by uh, first station standing by for the shikankang coming Yeah, Andrew, make your way. Um, they're probably about 150 meters from CP Pan. Uh, as soon as you are here, I'll move out. I think Harley is moving out for Andres, uh, but I'll just fall into the back of the lineup again. So what I've done is I'm going to give everyone a chance, and I've fallen back to the the back of the lineup, so we can hopefully get back to see them before they they leave. Ginny is wondering whether cheetahs hunt at night. Uh, Ginny very seldom, uh, they will hunt sometimes on the full moons, but a cheetah are generally crepuscular animals, and what that means is they are most active at dusk and dawn. Uh, cheetah is another species that will also hunt throughout the day, uh, and uh, even when it's hot. Now the reason that they hunt at these times is to avoid competition uh, with the other big predators such as lions, hyenas, leopards and wild dogs. Uh, because cheetah are very slightly built and they're built for speed so if they even even the slightest little injury uh, can be life-threatening to them so we're gonna make space for Andrew from Cheetah Plains to come in and see them so while we do that uh, let's go across the alley hopefully we'll be able to get back with them a little bit later